subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is cm pathway crassulation acid metabolism of the chapter photosynthesis cm pathway that is crassulation acid metabolism it was first discovered in family crassulaceae they are the xerophytes plants that grow under dry conditions they have thick leaves leaves are reduced they have thick cuticle and sunken stomata and the stomata opens at night and closes during day this pathway is also seen in cactus pineapple agave and orchids now all these characteristics are to reduce the rate of transpiration to prevent loss of water now this pathway or cm pathway type of carbon dioxide fixation has evolved in some plants as an adaptation to arid conditions that is dry conditions in these plants stomata opens at night and closes during day so that means carbon dioxide fixation occurs at night the carbon dioxide is fixed in the form of organic acids that are stored in vacuoles during day the organic acids are released from the vacuoles transferred to chloroplast where carbon dioxide is released and fixation of carbon dioxide occurs by calvin cycle they have minimized photorespiration and saved water as tomato opens at night so loss of water due to transpiration is minimized the pathway is same as hatch slack pathway or the c4 pathway the only difference is hatch slack pathway occurs in different cells that is mesophyll and bundle sheath cells while the cm pathway is separated in time let's see the process in detail during night carbon dioxide enters the leaves through the stomata this carbon dioxide reacts with phosphoenol pyruvate to form oxaloacetic acid which gets converted into malic acid this malic acid is stored in vacuoles during day the malic acid 
this released from the vacuoles and they enter the chloroplast. where carbon dioxide is released from the malic acid which then enters the Calvin cycle where sugar is formed. Now let's see the process in the diagram. During day night The carbon dioxide enters the leaves through the stomata that open at night. Even the carbon dioxide from mitochondria due to respiration is also present. They react with phosphoenol pyruvate by the help of phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase enzyme to form oxaloacetic acid or oxaloacetate. This oxaloacetate not being a very stable compound is immediately reduced by NADH to form malic acid that is stored in the vacuole. During day, the malic acid is released from the vacuoles. It enters the chloroplast where it undergoes oxidative decarboxylation means the carbon dioxide is released, NAD is reduced to NADH and pyruvic acid or pyruvate is formed. The carbon dioxide that is released enters the Calvin cycle to form sugar. Now the pathway is same as the C4 pathway, the only difference, difference being the process occurring during night occurs in the mesophyll cells of the C4 plants while the process occurring in the during the day occurs in the bundle sheet cells of the C4 plants. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe, comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.